Welcome back to We Are Washington. There's no doubt that creativity is alive and well across the district. Our creative economy filled with vibrant, diverse people and places. In one of those places, right here in Ward 8, is the Congress Heights Arts and Culture Center. And that's why I'm extremely excited today to be talking to the woman behind it all, Ms. Kiana Jones. Lindsay, thanks for having us thanks out. Thanks for coming. I'm so excited for you guys to be here. So I want to know a little bit about this place. We're in an amazing spot right here in yes. Ward 8. Tell me a little bit about uh, the Congress Heights Arts and Culture Center and, and just a little bit behind what we're what we're doing here today. Okay, first and foremost, we are an art gallery. Um, so we do our exhibitions once a month, we try. Um, and we focus on solo exhibitions because it's a, a rarity um, in the art world. Um, beyond that, we do classes and workshops. Mm -hmm. So sewing classes, sipping paints, um, yoga on Saturday, Tai Chi on Sundays. But then on top of that, it's rental space. So if you have um, a party idea or an event that you want to plan or just you need small meeting space, all of that is available here. What was it about uh, art and culture that you said to yourself, you know, we need to bring this to Ward 8, we need to bring this here, right. and we need to make sure that people are exposed to it and make sure that um, it's something that's readily available. Tell me about where you got that idea right. from, and so many people have ideas, but how did you turn it into a reality? So, I the idea came from really just me. Um, I'm born and raised east of the river. Um, and like I said, I've been creative um, since the day that I can remember. And I just remember my mom always having to take me to Maryland or go out far in Virginia, go to the other side of DC just to find classes and workshops and just different outlets for me um, as a creative. And so the center was a way for basically me to create what I needed as a, as a kid. Tell me about some of the art that you have in the building because sure. one of the things that I've noticed walking around is that you do have a lot of great art hanging oh, on the walls you. here. First I want to talk, I mentioned that we're an art gallery first and right. we do the art exhibitions each month. Um, so this particular month we have Terrence Crook Sloan. Um, he's a Southside creative, um, as we call ourselves on this side. This is his first solo exhibition, which I said I like to focus on because it's a rarity in the art world. Um, so on the first floor, that's all of his work. But then as you kind of um, float through the center, we have work that's coming from local artists as well as international artists. We have Kente cloth, we have baskets, um, we have local vendors, um, young and old. Um, so there's a mix of, of things here. So we definitely don't just stay here in the center. Right. We venture out, we go into the streets, um, we find artists everywhere, okay. whether they're housed somewhere, whether they're painting on the streets, whatever. Um, so this particular artist um, stopped by um, a gallery in Mount Rainer. Um, and we heard about the artist, we went to check him out, and apparently he had just been released um, from jail um, at the time and didn't have housing and was just leaning on his art as a way for financial stability. So he would find some canvases or make his own. And I actually reached out to the owner of the gallery where um, I got the art to see if she'd heard back from him, um, but unfortunately she hasn't. Um, but we're hoping that he's well. We definitely have his art to tell his story. Um, two of his pieces have already been sold, um, and so we hope that when we made the original purchase that we could really um, add to the quality of his life in some in some sort of fashion. That's a great story. Yeah. That's a really nice story. Mm -hmm. I want to know about the people that are, are, are coming in and taking part in the events that you okay. have here. What sort of feedback are you getting? What the community says is exactly what pushes me every day um, because a lot of people don't know that it's really me that's behind the whole operation. Um, people get confused by that and I actually like that because that means I'm doing a pretty decent job right. but when I get the testimonials and the actual um, reflection of the space, that's what makes me warm. The biggest, I think the biggest compliment um, that I hear over and over again when people immediately when they step into the space mm -hmm. is that it feels good. Mm -hmm. And that means the world to me. Um, Cause I'm really big on energy. I'm really big on good vibes. Most artists are. Um, so if you come in and tell me that it feels good or you feel at home, that you feel like you can kick your shoes off, um, that's what's important to me because we want to make sure the space is an unbiased space, a comfortable space that you could just come in and just relax. But tell people how they can they can find out what's happening here, how they can contact sure. you, tell them how they can get in touch. So if you visit our website, www.chacc, which is just our acronym, Congress Heights Arts and Cultural Center.org. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the social media, chacc underscore DC. All right. Thanks yes. so much for Thank your time. Thank you so much for coming, man. Thank Please you. come back. <laughs>